Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of a Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We are a pale draconian air elementalist of Sifmuna, and um, item-wise we're feeling a little bit on the weak side. Uh, we did just use a, a scroll of requirement we had uh, to ask for armor. We got plus three pair of gauntlets of war, which that's not terribly helpful. Um, we could be enchanting our cloak and our boots to plus two defense, get some more AC in here, but I really want to wait until we've got stuff with like some sort of sub trait on it and just get it maxed out because otherwise there's you know there's a limit to how many scrolls of, of enchant armor we're going to find if we had like eight of them or something right now then i might consider burning some to get a bit more ac but as is we'll wait so we've we've traversed a fair amount of the lair um in fact we've we found we've reached the bottom of the lair but it was a little scary so i think i'm just going to hold for just a scooch i think i'm going to go and poke around in the dungeon just a little bit uh see if we can get just a tiny bit more xp we're mostly looking for gear more than xp at this point and then we'll go on from there i suppose if i had our elect that ball lightning might be fun um i might as well perhaps consider memorizing the shroud of galobria it's it's handier early on but it is handy if you're a higher ac character and we're bizarrely high ac for a spellcaster at 15. and we'll get better if we're enchanted more uh I suppose we may as well memorize it, because we can always forget it with um, with our god ability. Alright, so yeah, we've got nothing to explore this level, so we're going to go down. Nothing here, can't reach parts that's just a weird area where there's a little bit of water. Not a big deal. So this is dungeon level 11, and we do have some stair exclusions. Now, if we were to... what what? I guess I don't actually have to move. Yeah, the Hydra, which has probably wandered around, it's not there anymore. Uh, and then the other down staircase with another exclusion was over there. I mean, everything will have changed. And what we consider to be threatening will also have changed. I will pre-cast the armor here. <sighs> Miscast, of course. Uh, boom. Okay. What's his casting rate on that one? It's a little higher because we don't have much translocation. 7%. Um, I'll turn on translock. Actually, it'll be a lot cheaper to get two levels in charms or something like that instead of translocation. Although we might want more translocation going forward. I'm going to get two levels of that. And tell you what, I will go and turn on translocations and set a target of just five. So we'll get a wee bit more. Probably overkill, but that's okay. Let's go down the stairs. And as expected, the Hydra is not there. But in these little hallways, we actually have a fairly good chance of just plugging the route up and not allowing the Hydra to come to us. Shadow. 24. It's not immune to lightning. It can move very quick when invisible. And it can fly. Well, if we just go ahead and hit it with airstrike a couple of times, you die pretty fast. Wyvern. Wyvern is a flying creature. And a Hydra. Now, I'm going to go and drop my Spire here, so people can't move. Although the Hydra might go around. It did not. Now, we've got a lot of ways to tackle disabling the Hydra, right? I don't have a ton of Charge of Paralysis. The thing is, we actually are probably okay right now. Do I want a Lightning Bolt? I'm not sure that I do. I think I'm going to do a regular shock. I'm going to kill you. Oh, you're fast. I forgot about that. Um, blink. Puts very little space in between us, but it did some. I put you down there. Now, that's not going to last for very long. But it's going to last for long enough. We should be able to kill that thing. I'm not super concerned. I feel very confident we will be able to take out that Hydra. Uh, hello, Basilisk. Thank you. Since we're near starving, we will go ahead and eat. Oh, speaking of starvation stuff, this ghost might be a little bit annoying, except he did move in a place where he'd get double tapped by stuff. Alright. Down there.
Are you reflecting? Backlash. I don't understand. Injury mirror. I mean, at least it's only against the thing I, uh, I have summoned as opposed to myself. Now, I don't want to move further to the left because it's an area I don't know. If I do this and that, I'll fail to cast it. Seriously? Seriously? Three percent chance twice in a row. Now, he can stab me through this. I'm just using that to give us a little bit of a buffer while we decide what our next action will be. I'm lagging. There we go. Thank you. And we've got teleport... Uh, like, I've got defensive spells. I've got defensive scrolls. The injury mirror is really annoying, and the agony can deal a lot of damage. I don't think I want to deal with this guy. But if I blink, there's a chance I will blink in the top left corner over here, and that would be potentially really dangerous. Uh, right, and there's Injury Mirror. Reflecting Injuries. If I move forward... If I move forward over here, the Lightning Spire will be able to keep double-bouncing Lightning Bolts off him. How much damage can he actually do? He does have the Agony. 28 plus Broad Axe. Broad Axe has got, what, like 9 damage or something? Might be 11. Probably 11. So let's say, okay, let's say he can deal about 40 points of damage. He could theoretically kill me in 3 attacks. But we have a couple of ways to deal with that. I'm gonna move... I'm gonna move forward. And yeah, let him bounce around. Now, the, um, the Shroud, since his attacks are so powerful, almost certainly will be at the minimum possible defense, which is going to be about 10%. Actually, we'll probably still get maybe about 15% chance of deflecting an attack. So I will Shroud up. What the? Please, not Iron Jesus, please is. Iron Jesus most definitely does not please. Okay. Um, question, are you vulnerable to poison? You are. So I'm just going to try to stab you. He did get poisoned. Good. Um, I'm going to recast the shroud. Oops. Oh, I can't access my magic. That's true. Which also means I can't blink. Which is fine. I think we've got this. I'm going to drink agility just to be a bit more dodgy. Well, that's a little annoying. And a jelly showing up. That's all very annoying. I probably just have to run. What's the holy word? Does this help on a death knight? Um, holy word. What does it do? Undead and demonic targets. But he's not... He's not undead or demonic. He's just bad. I think I have to accept that I gotta out of, get out of here. And by getting out of here, I'm unfortunately not gonna be able to just do my own self blink. Uh, because I could blink somewhere much, much, much worse. We could do a summoning. I think what I have to do though, is I have to go control blink over this way. And I will read my scroll of summoning here. Or will I? It's actually a great question. Um, I think I'm actually just not. I'm going to move away. What do you mean unknown command? Oh, because I'm trying to move diagonally into a wall. Because my hands weren't where I thought they were. As soon as we can cast again, like now, we'll just go and cast swiftness. Although, 
now that we can cast... Boom. Excellent. Lovely. Human corpse. Chop, chop, chop. Mm, big cobalt's fine. Uh, I'll... I probably don't even need... It. Well, I'll put down a spire. It's starting to be more stuff. Unless we can block their ability to move around. The control blink worked out really well there. I mean, no matter what, a after I decided to control blink, I wasn't going to die. But... Leading, like, going into the hallway opened up the possibility of actually killing him. Which, you know, is pretty good. It's funny that we know, like, where the kobold went. They're not, like, resistant or anything, right? They're gonna start merging up and be generally annoying. I guess there's gonna be a lot of noise here anyway. So, we'll go ahead and lightning bolt down here. That is a lot of noise. Oh, that was my mana's cast. But again, it's a cheap spell, so it doesn't last very long. This is a more expensive spell for the minus cast. But it's okay. Uh, jumping Spider. Jumping Spider can be annoying, but I don't think is, is a game breaker. In fact, I probably didn't even need to do that. You are you have no threat other than the fact that you eat my magic power, which, if you're alone, is not so bad. Someone was carrying a lot of money. Oh, Shapeshifter. Eh, that's what's going on there. Hello, Seven Hedra Hydra. So, yeah, we'll probably just be ready for blinky blinky shit. I don't think it makes sense to put up the Shroud here because he spams too many attacks anyway. Man, he is killing the shit out of that. That's not targeting the thing I want it to target, but okay. A little reflection. Keep kiting backwards, and the hallway in particular just guarantees that it's going to be in line here. Of course I miscast. Why, why would I not miscast? Okay, we just had to hope that his speed wouldn't catch us there. There's no reason we couldn't kill that guy, other than the fact that we sort of got a little unlucky on a few things. Zap, zap, zap. Can I lightning bolt all the way down here? There we go. Ah! Uh... I don't think this is where I wanted to end up. There we go. This is what I wanted to do. Get some space in here. I should have just started with um, with that. Zap the hell out of him. Ooh, that's unpleasant. There you go. XPs! Alright. There's still an imp around? Or it was jelly? Whatever. This thing. Excellent. That is somewhat unpleasant, but should be very handleable. Okay. Deep Elf Mage. Interesting. Why are you here?
Are you hitting me with lightning? That's very rude. That's my thing. Okay. Drop you in here. Zap, zap, zap. The Ice Beast is really no threat to the Spire, because I think it's immune to all the elemental crap. That guy's going to make a lot of noise. I would feel better not sticking around here. We're not close to any sort of upstairs, though, which is too bad. I'm still going to move away a bit, and then see about re-engaging from a different angle. I'm still going to put down my Spire, because I'm worried about a big crowd coming. And again, I'm going to back up over here, because I, I don't want to fight a bunch of stuff simultaneously. There's the Orcish Mines. Now, it's probable that I can poke around the first level of the Orcish Mine and be okay. Normally you do it after finishing Lair. But it might not be a bad way. Oh my god, there's our first amulet of the game. So we're going to identify it. Because it could be, harm would be particularly bad. Alright, we'll put on regeneration. Hmm. I'm hitting the wrong spell combo here. So we'll lock those guys in. And then... I'm going to lightning bolt in here. Zap, 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 zap. Didn't make a lot of noise, but yeah, I think we're going to be fine now. I gotta move here, because if I don't have line of sight, they won't fire. Okay. This thing should be fine. Tell me my spire's attacking. Is it not attacking? Okay. And just to make sure we get the kill this time. Oh, no. I forgot about that. Let me evoke the Sack of Spires. Which actually gave us an ant, but okay. Now, I can't fire through my own ant. Oh, it died. Okay, well then. Come with me, ant. Sure. Oh. Uh, yes. Mm, that did not do as much as I would like. Here, it won't bounce off me because of the corner. There we go. Centaur, hand axe of freezing kind of okay with this. Ogre Mage. Let's use an actual lightning bolt. And again. Yeah, going invisible is fine, but what I'm going to do... An acid Dragon. Hoping that this area is clear. He's still invisible. I mean, obviously he can open doors. Uh, that's not necessarily what I want to encounter right now. Recast. Excellent. And wait. Okay. You, without the Acid Dragon, feels a lot more okay. There you go. Now, Acid Dragon. You're not... You, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Um, yeah, only 27 hit points is not bad. So I think what we do is just airstrike you a couple times and finish you off. Zap, zap, zap. Zap, zap, zap. Kill you. Now, is there a power rating for my Lightning Spire? I mean, there clearly must be. <clears throat> it's getting up there. And I don't think it's something we need to worry about maxing, because it probably just means more damage. I mean, more damage is more better, but it's not like a save or fail like other things. And actually, what's the, uh, what's the food situation? Spire is down to two food. Lightning Bolt's still a lot of food, and probably always will be. But I'm wondering if we can turn off just spell casting right now. We got lots of spell levels. There's our Conjure Ball Lightning. 
as crazy as that is. I kind of like the idea of it. Let's grab that. So, it's still got failure chance. 17%, which is a little high. Conjuration Air. Now, both the Charms and Translock are about to hit the target number. So, I'm going to let them finish that. That's going to be fine. And I'll just turn on Conjuration Focus, Air Magic Focus. Conjuration has a target of 10, which is probably fine. Hello, Cyclops. Zap, 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 zap. Mm, I keep going ZT for some reason. I don't know why. Just ZZ is what my hotkey for this is set to. Okay. More Wanda Paralysis is good. We're running low on that. Uh, You're just going to get airstriked. There's something invisible over here. It's probably an unseen horror. I don't know if you can see things that are in Steam. I also don't know if my Spire can see or target in Viz. Can't see in Viz. Does it target things where we have like a vague idea of where something is? I don't know. I'm gonna move into the hallway here. It's attacking the lightning spire right now, which is fine. Now I'm assuming Uh, what's nice here is that it's hitting for very little damage, it appears, because it does no damage, doesn't damage to my AC. So the Shroud actually will do really good things for us. Bam! Take that, you punk ass. Uh, we should uh, get our mana back, ideally before the Gargoyle starts looking for us. Oh, it's resistant to electricity. Well, that's annoying. I guess it's just well-grounded. Being made mostly out of rock. Alright. So we got our... We got our, um... Our mana back. What I don't have... Well, actually, I can airstrike it. Durr. I was gonna say, I don't have something that's good against people with resistance to electricity. No, I have airstrike, which is irresistible. Much like myself. Um, I might want to pick up the Rune Longsword. With high evasion, there's a possibility we can do... Uh, I don't remember if you can um, parry when you've got a weapon. I think so. But if it were, like, of defense or something... Now, that's actually very interesting. Holy Wrath adds 0 to 150% bonus damage against demons and undead. Now, Longsword doesn't have the best base. It's probably worth just carrying that. I don't know. We'll, we'll hold on to it for now. It's going to... There's the Orcish Mines. Spellbook. Deflect Missiles. Silence is also interesting, and Tornado. That sounds like an air spell. I don't think silence is actually something we want to use, but I want to take a look at it. There's orb of deflection over there, which is neato. Tornado. Yeah, level 9 air spell. What was the other thing? Oh, deflect missiles, which is charms and air. Air around the caster and mighty vortex, doing tremendous damage to everyone caught in it. Those affected will also be swept up into the air and tossed around. Only the eye of the storm is a safe place, and it follows the caster. The spare's effectiveness is greatly diminished in closed areas. After the tornado fades, it cannot be called forth again for a short time. So, you use it when you're in a big open area, and it's a massive AoE around you. 
That sounds like fun. Deflect missiles. Protects the cast from all kinds of projectile attacks, making them significantly easier to dodge. It is highly effective against both single target and penetrating attacks. Each time a missile is deflected, the spell has a chance of expiring. Low chance at high power. Yeah, I think it's a lot like the um, the Shroud. And there's Silence, which we probably don't want to do, because we won't be able to cast our own spells either. So I think we don't do that. But... Deflect missiles would be excellent, and tornado would be a lot of fun, like, in a super extended thing. I don't know, it's probably, because it works best when you're surrounded, it's probably not actually the way we want to go. But, deflect missiles. Now, we, we already have tons of air. Would it be cheap to grab a few levels of charm? We have the minus one, but it probably is. And I'm this is a spell where I think we're going to need. So we will go ahead and get a few levels of charm. I think Ball Lightning will be fun, but I still need RLEC. So we'll put the Spire in between us and him. Oops. Let's hope the Spire would last a little longer. I guess it doesn't dodge. He brought a friend. Okay. Good. We'll wait here. We're very hungry. Hopefully one someone left the body. Yeah, chunks. And did a teleport trap. Okay, that's fine. Airstrike you. <gasps> Trove of treasures. Now we this is the thing where we need something to enter, right? I don't remember when it tells us. Is it when we try to enter? Oh! You need the slimy rune of Zot. Wait. So we don't have to pay for this one. We just need to show it the slimy rune from the slime branch to be able to enter that trove. Wow. Okay. So it's, it would force us to go into the slime branch, which... That's scary. Up, up, up. Done. Uh, okay, so we'll put you down. And oh, you've gone invis. That's annoying. I was hoping to kill you before you did that. Ah, there you are. You're back. Airstrike. Airstrike. Put this here for the angled shot. Excellent. It's a little bold, maybe not killing the two-headed ogre. But I really did not want that thing to just go in fizz again. Got some rings. There you go. May as well put down the spell. It's only hunger, and if I don't kill that guy fast enough, I'm going to get super hungry from things anyway. So we'll put on this ring, doing that. And we'll put on this ring. Uh, doing that. Okay, well, we don't need strength. I think I do want to go around with our magic. <clears throat> I mean, I guess, honestly, the ring of protection probably is actually better to run around with right now. And we can swap to something else. Um, Priest could be a little dangerous. It does have Smite targeting, which means it can bypass my Spire defense. Especially if I miscast it. At 2%. I mean, I am casting enough that you're going to see the miscast, but... Is it just me, or does it feel like we're, we're hitting that a little more than, than we might expect? Centaur... Warrior skeleton. That's probably okay. You might not be alone. So I'm going to put that because it's a bigger room. So if there was more than one dude, the skeleton takes a few numbers of hits anyway. I'm gonna step forward and drop that there and shout because apparently he hadn't fully noticed me. Done. Okay. 
So we'll get to the end of this floor. And I mean, I do want to finish the lair. It's probably worth peeking for easy kills. Um, I mean, I assumed. I think that was a disintegration thing. Okay. I mean, we're only we're only a couple levels off the um, off the bottom of the dungeon. At this point, I think we're probably okay to keep going there. The problem with the base level of the lair is just a sheer number of crap we're dealing with. Now, what's interesting is that with the use of like Conjure Ball Lightning is sort of like an AOE with the crap it does. We should we should do one example of it. Oh, miscast. Miscast again. Yeah, all right. So I'm just generating a bunch of hunger. I guess it's not targeted. It just spams it out in a few different directions and you get more orbs. The more you have. Like, it's super unreliable. And it's more of an open area thing. It's a little like Tornado is going to be. So we'll see how it goes. We're going to wrap this up uh, here. I will be making a run for this. And then, yeah, we're going to decide what we're doing next episode. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you then.